past fatal heart impact, past painful scars. In fact, I blast tasteful bars and past I back up my actions. Back on mass, grab reactions, jack attack with every word and act with class as they hear me snap. I got nothing to lose, cause I fought and felt the bruise. Now I'm not the one confused, call the shots and they produce. I ain't lost, I'm finally loose. Pick a new so bird's juice. I need the views to boost me to a new abuse of being used. Everybody wants a peace now, y'all can rest in peace now. You're dead to me, so peace out. Remember you're discreet now. Get ready for the Alrighty. Hello, hello, everybody. This is Q Show here. And now, whenever we last left off with this series, we had Junto. And well, a lot of things have happened. Now, in the last part, Deku, he killed a fallen angel and the fourth commander to the former demon lord deku's kill count he has gotten it above 80 million and currently that number is still rising rapidly now after deku took down the fourth commander the daughter of the demon lord she finally put her own plans in action she knew that that woman would fail, and now it is time for her to show this guy that she is not to be trifled with. Now, she is aware of the legacy she has to live up to, and that pressure is all on her. Now, that being said, she did suit up in a suit of armor and take a few weapons from the Demon Lord's vault. Now, we do currently have Junto, who, he is wreaking havoc across the battlefield, as he's throwing his hands out in multiple directions and causing large explosions. As the kill count from, went from 83 million to 95 million in a matter of minutes. Now, Deku has slaughtered 32 million people from the Demon Lord's army. Almost half of them have all been killed in explosions or ripped apart by the dragon. Now, Deku, yeah, he's showing no mercy. As we actually do have where he does get to bring both of his hands up and begin to cast a powerful magic circle. Both of his arms are being covered in runes as a magical circle does begin to start forming over his head. Now, as Deku does go to swing his arms downwards, you do actually have where he does go to stop. And go to turn around, he does see something opening behind him. Now, Deku is quite confused. It looks like someone just cut a hole in the air. And it's strange to him. As the circle does begin to start at least going wider and wider before somebody does come floating out of it. And Deku does look quite confused. What the hell was that? Hmm. Exactly who are you? The person looking up at Junto. As Deku, he does notice that they're in a weird suit of armor. Now, they do go to raise a weapon, informing them that they are Cholu or Chalua, and they are not to be trifled with. Hmm? <laughs> I'm sorry. <sighs> You're wearing a ridiculous set of armor. So, what's your deal? Hmm? I'll have you know, I am the current commander of the Demon's Army. Hmm? You mean Demon Lord's Army? You're not in charge of them. How dare you? My mother left everything to me. Hmm? Oh, so you're actually the commander. Perfect. Give me about two minutes. I need to kill more of these guys. Then I can at least take that title. Hmm? I'm going to stop you right there. Now, Deku does turn, looking to see as a blade is pointed directly at him. 
You are not to kill anyone else. I am your opponent. Now, Deku is staring at this person. That stupid armor they're wearing. It's covering every square inch of their body. <laughs> oh god. Oh, this is ridiculous. You can't really expect me to fight you. Not when you're dressed so ridiculously. Hmm? I'll have you know this armor was created by my mother herself. Really now? Now that's kind of interesting. Yes. Now, Deku does watch as the person just come rushing at him. As Deku, he does lose sight of them for a split second. As he does hear something behind him. Before going to spin around and go to blast wind. The moment he does so, he does get slashed across the chest as he does go flying backwards. And Deku does go to look down at that. He was using defensive magic to protect his body. And the fact that she did just cut through it like butter does show how powerful that, that stuff truly is. Deku going to look back up at this person. I see. Now, Deku does go to use his boosted skill. He should have plenty of mana left to deal with this nuisance. And this will be all. Now, Deku does just go as max as he can with boosted, as he does rush forwards and immediately go to punch the person as hard as he can. The moment he does, a shockwave is formed, and the person does go flying backwards and smashing down into the ground. As they do go to get back up, and Deku does see that. As they do go to bring their hands up and slam them together. And Deku does watch as blades do begin to start popping up throughout the air. As he's quite confused. Going to dodge and leave out of the way of many of them. As he's looking around. Now, Deku has never encountered magic like this before. Those blades that are coming out of nowhere. And there's the fact that that armor. Whatever it's made of, it just took a solid punch from him. And it is still together. Along with that, the person inside of it, they're not on fire or, well, they're not dead. Now, Deku does look at the person. As do quickly go to move forwards and rush at him. Going to slash downwards with the blade as Deku does go to bring up his hands and, well, manifest his own one. As he does manifest the Demon Lord Sword. Now, the blade that does swing down does directly clash with Deku's blade. And the person does just freeze for a second, looking to see that weapon. As Deku, he does actually go to throw down his right hand and summon his other blade. As he does go to try and slash a person and cut through their armor. Now, Deku, the moment his sword does make contact, he does hear it slash across the armor. However, he does not cut through it. In fact, the armor resisted the attack. Now, Deku is then kicked across the chest, as he's sent flying backwards and smashing into the ground, where he does get up and go to wipe his face, as he does look up to see the person who's going to land. You exactly don't know what's going on here, do you? <laughs> you little bastard. Deku is going to stand back up. What the hell is that? Hmm. Well, this armor, once again, was created by my mother. She made it from something very peculiar. The skin of an ancient beast. And, well, that's mixed with various metals and magic. You get something that's indestructible. Hmm? Indestructible? <laughs> yes. Many magical attributes have been put into this armor. Along with that, it does obey the command of the Demon Lord. And along with that, any damage I sustain while in this armor is immediately repaired due to the Phoenix's attribute, Immortality. Now, Deku does just stare at this armor. You've got to be fucking kidding me. That thing makes no sense. If he's hearing correctly, this is a set of armor with no drawbacks. 
and just straight up boost to every single category of potential. Immortality, magic boost, strength boost, healing. There's got to be something wrong here. Now, Deku is trying to make heads and tails of it all. There's got to be a limit to something here. There's got to be a weakness. Now, Deku does rush in, as he does summon two blades and go for the offensive attack. As the Demon Lord, they are witnessing Deku. They do go on guard, as Deku does send furies of attacks over and over again, boosting his power and trying to speed up. More momentum, more strength, more anything. As he does send out furies and furies of attacks. And this person is knocked clear across the battlefield, flying through multiple enemies as they go smashing into the dirt. Now, as that does happen, they do go to get back up. As they do bring up their hands and smash them together. Before a weapon does begin to appear between the hands. And they do just hold up a massive spear. Now, Deku does look at that. And he is curious. So, that's what he's dealing with. Whoever this person is, they're not joking around here. He's in an actual life or death battle now. Everything else was somewhat easy up to this point. However, that armor, getting through its defenses is going to be the hardest thing ever. If he's correct, then there's got to be a way to defeat it. There's something here. Now, Deku does go to bring up his hands, as he does just think. If he can use blood magic and explosions together, then maybe he can knock something loose. The person might be able to be knocked unconscious, however, that is a far stretch. And if not, ripping them apart from the inside using their own blood may be his best option. Now. Deku does cast massive amounts of explosions directly at the person in the armor, as he's just throwing his hands back and forth over and over and over again, as the person's walking towards him on the battlefield, and Deku does just stare down at that. Now, while this is going on, we do currently have the body double of Junto, who, he actually is dealing with the situation himself. He's, well, talking with Todoroki. Todoroki's been handling things around the kingdom. And, well, yeah. There were very few things that popped up. There was the occasional demon or, well, some sort of thing from the other country that came here. However, with working together and Todoroki's massive power, they weren't able to take out any threat. Now, Deku, he currently is trying to inform Todoroki about something. A shift in battle. And Todoroki, he is quite confused. If anything, Junto should be able to handle it, right? Now, Deku, he's informing Todoroki. He's not so sure. He's just got a massive sense that something is going wrong. And whatever it is, it cannot be good. Hmm? Really? Yes. Todoroki, you need to head there now. I can't. Hmm? Why? Because if I head out now, I leave this place totally defenseless. Along with that, your adventurers or your companions, as I'm made aware of it, they aren't suited to fight these threats. Your, well, <clears throat> companion Lee, she would be best suited. Even then, she's not even above level 400. I understand. However, you have to go. <laughs> now, Junto is staring at Todoroki. As Todoroki, he is trying to think. Junto... He is in danger, or he feels like he's in danger. But they can't verify that. So, 
What should he do? Leave or stay? Now, he is trying to think. As John Doe himself does to try and contact anyone on the other side of the the other side of the planet, using a mana crystal. Now, we do cut back over to the battlefield, where Deku and, well, I believe I said Cholu or Cholua. They're both currently going back to f and forth, fighting each other. Deku is being massively outpowered. And his tactics, they did work for a brief second. However, there's that armor that's around that chick. Now, Deku, yeah. He's trying all he's got. He's blasting it, shooting it, trying to use anything. And that's just it. Nothing he's tried is working. Now, Deku's struck this person down with arm, well, struck this person down with lightning, shot fire at them, and tried to freeze them in place. However, that's just it. The more and more he tries, nothing does work. As Deku, he does go rushing forwards as a sword or the spear is shot directly through his heart. And Deku does go flying backwards as he does cough up a ton of blood. Before he does go smashing into the ground, where he does just stand there looking down at the spear in his chest. Now, Deku, he notices that that hurt like a bitch. As he is going to grab onto the spear and try to read its power. As he does find that this is a demonic weapon. And he finds it to be quite interesting. This weapon, it has specialized stats, and from what he can see, its weaponized abilities are on par with his own. Now, Deku is going to grab the blade, or the, well, stick, you could say, and go to try and pull himself up. As he does, go to directly get off the spear, and go to stand back up onto his feet. As he's beginning to regenerate his heart. Now, Deku does go falling forwards. As he's trying to breathe, he feels like he's about to pass out. And that is not good. <sighs> Be advised Berserker, level 3, activated. Now, Deku's eyes do go to fill with fear. Berserker cannot activate right now. Now, Deku does go to look up, as the person they do go to freeze, looking at Junto, who, his wound immediately does seal itself close, as he is going to bring his hands up to the side of his head and start screaming like a madman, as the shout he does let out does actually burst the person's eardrums inside the armor, as they do go recoiling backwards, bringing their hands up to their head. As Junto, he does immediately rush forwards using powerful magic. Now, as Deku does rush in, the person does go looking back down towards Junto. As he does send a powerful uppercut directly into the armor. As the person gets sent flying upwards through the air. And Deku does move quickly. And go to smash them in the back of their spine and send them flying out towards the ground. Now, Deku, he's just relentless going over and over again with his attacks, as he does send out barrage of magical power, or send out a barrage of magical power in every single direction. Now, the person inside the armor, they didn't notice this, and it was quite intense. They felt their body break and heal, and if it wasn't for that, they would have died. As they do try and face off against Junto, and they do notice his powerful increase. Now, Deku's lashing on everyone on the battlefield and trying to kill everything in sight. As we do actually have an unknown amount of time later, where Deku, he does start to come back to his senses as he's thrown a powerful punch directly into the person in the armor. 
as he does go to drop forwards and fall forwards. Now, Deku, he notices that, notices that his body is covered in wounds. Along with that, he does seem like he might be at the end of his rope. His stamina is completely depleted. And, well, his mana is almost at zero. Deku going to bring his hands up as he does go to grab a handful of potions and begin to start drinking them as fast as he can as his stamina does begin to start recovering a bit faster and he's able to get up onto his feet as his mana does also begin to start regenerating. Now, Deku does just think, these potions, they're not really too good. If his mana is regenerating faster, then it does mean that his stamina will start to deplete. And if his stamina does start to deplete, he'll pass out. Now, Deku does go to look around the battlefield, noticing that there's not really anyone left around him. This place is a smoking crater. And, well, from as far as he can see, there's bodies everywhere. And the sky, it's gone completely dark. Whatever happened has been happening for hours. And Deku, he does look down at his hands. As he does hear his system. Evolved to Demon Lord? Hm, what? Evolution unlocked. Would you like to evolve to the rank of Demon Lord? Now, Deku, he does look up and see the person who's rushing or at least getting back up off the ground. As Deku can tell that their armor, it's still intact. However, the person inside of it has got to be exhausted. Now, Deku does ask his system how long will the evolution take. As his system does inform him, the evolution should be instantaneous. The only problem was, if he was not a demon previously, he would have to have transformed. Now, Deku does tell his system yes, as his system does inform him. He must repeat the process for his evolution previously. Now, the person who watches Deku, he does go to summon his blade, and they're rushing forwards. Deku can tell that their movements, they're slower, and, well, they're a bit more sluggish, as the person they're rushing towards him. They have him on the ropes now. His stamina is completely depleted. Now, they do watch as Deku does go to bring up his blade and go to spin around. As they're quite confused, before they realize something, they've known the story about what happened to their, well, their mother and they need to move in faster. If they can get there in time, they can stop it. And it will be Deku going to thrust downwards, just as the person does go to strictly punch Deku across the face as hard as they can. As Deku's head does go spinning backwards and snapping. As he does go falling backwards onto the ground. Now, with that being said, I do hope you guys enjoyed. Have an amazing day. I'll catch you guys in the next part.